Hello everyone. I have an exciting video for us today. This is a collaboration video between myself and uh, J.O. Ventures Outdoors. Just a little bit of a backstory here. I purchased this Buck 116 caping knife or caper knife uh, from an antique store. And the seller there at the store said that he had went to an auction and down in the basement of this house there was several tables with knives and sheaths and um, the person holding the auction got upset about something. Anyway, he went down in the basement and he overturned all the tables. And so the knives and the sheaths all got mixed up. So when I purchased this knife, it had a buck 103 sheath in it. And this knife really didn't, I mean, it would snap shut and it would hold it, but it just wasn't the proper sheath for this knife. Well, I was watching, uh, John making some, you know, some of his videos on some of his leather projects. And uh, I just kind of proposed the idea to him. Uh, would he be willing to, to uh, make me a sheath for here for my 116? And he said, well, sure. So I want to just stop here and say I admire artisans and craftsmen. Um, you know, these folks that can take an idea and have it up in their head and then make something from that idea wow it's talent and uh, a lot of respect to john and all of you others out there that are crafting leather and and other things it's just uh well i have a lot of respect for you so before i forget to mention it um john did a video uh, about the the sheaths that he made and i'm going to put a link to his uh, video in the description box so please go watch that video. You can see the thought process behind how he made the sheaths and how he made the sheaths. It's, it's truly fascinating. Um, so anyway, on to the sheaths. Well, he made this. He was asking me what kind of a sheath do I want? You know, do I want scout carry? Do I want this? Do I want that? He asked, do I want, you know, one of the traditional uh, buck sheaths with a flap on it? Because this is an older knife, older buck knife. And, and it would have had a sheath like this with the flap on it. And after going back and forth a few times, I finally just said, you know what, John? Surprise me. And he says, okay. So I just kind of gave him the green light there to, to do what he wanted to do and let him have some fun with coming up with something. So I sent him the knife, and let's see, it was uh, a few days before the 4th of July weekend. He must have got, he got right on it, because, you know, a week later, here are the packages at my house. So he got right on this project, and you, you really do have to watch his video on it. But in with the, the knife and the sheaths, he sent a very nice letter uh, talking about the fr our friendship and how he loved to, to do the channel collaboration here and uh, you know thanking me for friendship and everything well John it's mutual this has been uh, a lot of fun so I'm gonna stop yakking here oh he sent me these two really nice stickers too aren't those nice J.O. Ventures Outdoors sharp looking stickers so before I go too much further, I, I just got to show you this uh, sheath that he made me. It just blows me away. I watched his video. I saw that it was beautiful and, and well made in his video. But I'm telling you, having it in hand, wow, the video does, just doesn't do it justice. But here we go. Look at this sheath. Dyed in brown But what a quality sheath. See the, the thickness of that leather? Now, I don't know leather weights. I don't know what weight that is. I think he said it was veg tan leather. Um, it's a buck knife. So he put a very nice uh, buck stamp there on both sides. And, of course, this is a scout uh, carry sheath. Put all these decorations on both sides. You see it there. Very heavy duty stitching. 
And look at the thickness. Look at the thickness of that welt. This is a very sturdy sheath. We'll go ahead and get it put in here. And it is in there tight. Look at that. No wobble whatsoever. Fits very well. John, you, you outdid yourself. This is absolutely gorgeous. Wow. But he wasn't done, folks. He wasn't done. Not only did he do this, now I'm calling this my Sunday go to meeting sheath. Look at how beautiful that is. Get all dressed up and have that on your belt. Of course, scout carry. Wow. And then he surprised me by making a second sheath. So th I guess this is my everyday carry sheath and this is my Sunday go to meeting sheath. I don't know. <laughs> but look at this nice, thin, lightweight sheath. See that there? Snap shut. Very nice. So not only did I get one very nice sheath, I've got two. So I can accessorize. Yeah. What beautiful gifts. John, I cannot thank you enough. I am so happy to have these. It is just terrific. So let's uh, talk about the knife itself. This is the Buck Model 116 uh, caping knife. I call them caping knives, although I think the proper name is caper knife. And from the Tang stamp here, because it's a three-line stamp, has Buck, the model number, and then USA on it. Now there is no dating symbol on it, so that... Uh, Per Buck's dating chart, that means this knife was made between 1972 and 1986. The blade length is three and a quarter inches, and it is uh, the blade is made out of 440C. Now Buck did change to 425M on their fixed blades in 1985. Uh, the overall length is seven and three eighths inches. And I've been trying to figure out what the blade shape is here. I'm calling it a, a drop point. But as you can see here, on the top, on the tip, there's a bevel up there on the top. And I guess the earlier Buck 116s did not have that bevel on it. So... What's nice about this knife, and what I like about these knives, is you have a full, a full handle on them. A full handle with a small blade. That's something I really like. So, something else I found out is these old buck uh, fixed blade knives. The handles are not the same on, on the newer versions. But when I compare this, this is a Buck 105 Pathfinder, and it was made between 1967 and 1972. But you line these up, and it looks like the handle on the 116 is exactly the same as the handle on the uh, Buck 105. So again, you're getting the full-size handle with the small blade. So the, the blade does have a hollow grind to it. And there's a, it's an aluminum guard, an aluminum pommel, and black micarta spacers. Now I'm not sure when they stopped making this knife. I saw one place where they thought that uh, this knife, the last catalog it, it appeared in was in 1991. So I'm assuming they started making these in the late 60s mid to late 60s and went to sometime in the 90s so there was probably about a 30 year run on this knife now i did see a couple uh of the 116s on auction sites 
and they were of a, like a special limited edition. Uh, I think one came out in 2012 that had buffalo horn handle. So Buck does that every now and then. They'll come out with a like a Buck of the Month Club or some other special limited run on knives on some of their older models. These knives can still be found on auction sites. I won't say it's rare, but it doesn't seem like they show up very often. But just a wonderful, beautiful old knife. Now, one of the reasons I purchased the knife is, as everyone knows, I do like my buck knives. And I have been trying to fill in uh, the Buck 100 series of fixed blade knives. So this is a welcome addition to that. And I am also learning, again, when I got this and I started comparing it to the 105, I saw that the handles was the same, but the Makarta spacers were different. And in comparing these types of handles with the, the modern uh, knives in the 100 line, you can see there's differences in the handle and the guard. Some of them are subtle, but they're there. There's differences in the blade thickness and the type of steel used over the years so I'm not going to get into that in this video I'm going to study up some more on that and then one of these days I'll be doing a video on on my buck fixed blades and we'll go over some of the changes over the years and the different models and that I really do want to maintain a focus here on these beautiful sheaths and the beautiful wet uh, leather work that that John did and I don't know how many times I can say it here, John. This is so awesome. Thank you so much. You're a great friend. And I, I hope God gives you lots of blessings. So until next time, everyone, I want everyone to go out and have a very delightful day.